But I'm Derek Splone here alongside Etwan Moore, back here from his basketball camp. Just going to talk to him a little bit, talk to us a little bit about the camp. Uh, so what does it mean for you to come back to your former high school and kind of give back to the, to the youth? Uh, you know, it definitely means a lot. Um, you know, not just for me, but just for the community. You know, for one, if everyone has something positive and have a good time and show the kids that it's hope. Right. And you play basketball here at the state championship, if I'm not mistaken. Can you talk a little bit about that experience playing here and uh, some of those memories? Yeah, you know, the state championship um, definitely was another um, big moment for us in our city. You know, that's why we want to um, yeah. come together and have a good time and, you know, just enjoy basketball. Definitely. And growing up, who do you credit most for some of your basketball success basketball? up to this point? Yeah. Uh, say, well, probably um, my parents, my family, you know, right? my parents, my brother. I always look up to them. Um, my brother and his friends, they were very good. And a good high school team in 97. Chicago Central, so that influenced me a lot. Right, and you went to Purdue, and obviously you committed to Purdue. You had your own kind of victory there, Robbie Hummel, Juwan right. Johnson. Can you talk a little bit about playing with those guys and how Purdue got you ready for the next level? Right, uh, yeah, you know, uh, playing with them definitely uh, getting me ready. I mean, both of those guys are professional players, so um, playing with them when I went to the next level was uh, made it a little bit easier because I'm, I'm playing with pros already. Right, exactly. And, can you, and obviously you were um, drafted the same year as your teammate Juan yeah. Johnson, both to the Boston Celtics. Can you talk about that? And also, did you kind of play with a chip on your shoulder, you know, drafted late in the second round, kind of make you more motivated, kind of hungry to prove everybody wrong? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's definitely motivating, you know, right. being drafted late in the second round. I wish I was drafted earlier, so, right. you know, when I go play against teams, like, uh, I got to show them that I belong in. Definitely. And the Orlando Magic just recently drafted Victor Oladipo. Uh, have you got a chance to speak to him yet? Or kind of, and, you know, can you also talk to us a little bit about the previous season and some of your expectations for next season? I know you have a young team, yeah. a lot of guys. We got yeah, guys. yeah, you know, Oladipo is definitely a good player, athletic. Um, I guess he can get things to help us out. And, um, you know, last year, you know, we had a rough year, but this year, we hopefully, I'm better. Definitely. And I'll just say a little bit about yourself. Yeah. What kind of pumps you up before a game? I know you probably listen to music. Oh, me? Yeah, I listen, listen to music. music. You know, I listen to Jay Z. Jay Z okay. to motivate me, you know, somehow, some way. All right. My favorite song. So, that's probably one thing I do for you. And are you an avid 2K player? And can you beat Kyle in 2K? Or what's the. We play all the time. <laughs> I beat him all the time. Yeah. Yeah, we always play. I beat him every day. Definitely, man. And our final question for you What's one thing that you can tell us that maybe some, only if these people in the room know? Something that you can share with us. Something that I can tell you. That not a lot of people know about you. That I can rap. I'll be flowing. Yeah. I'm supposed to rap right now. Yeah, go ahead. All right, let me hit one for the camera. All right. Now I'll just play, man. Dang, man. Derek's alone. Eat five more. I appreciate it, man.